notice here is I've, I've used what is typically used for log normal distributions of both volume as well as log normal distributions of my variable cost. I've combined those log normal distributions with standard deviations of 15% uh, for uh, volume and 20% of for a variable cost uh, to drive my simulation. That's going to then produce a probability distribution, distribution around my net in income. So let's look at what that is in this example. So I'll just simply activate my simulation. Uh, I have my various equations down here for each rate design. Uh, I've, I'm tracking various outputs uh, as, uh, as risk outputs, and I can simulate the result. So my simulation ran quite quickly. Uh, if I look at the net income though for my first example, you have actually a distribution of net income that actually ranges from minus 3,000 on the low to, uh, excuse me, 3.4 um, uh, million on a low to a maximum of, of 2.4 million. And you can see that in the, the axis of the probability of distribution. Now, I go to my next rate design, which would be, um, let's say, with uh, a medium customer charge. And you also have a probability distribution, but because of the fact that the axis has changed, you really can't see the difference between the two. So one of the features in at risk that I really love is the overlay feature. So let's go back and look at the probability distribution of the first one. This would be with a low fixed charge. Let's overlay the second one with a medium fixed charge. And you can see by going up to a medium fixed charge of $50, I have squeezed down the distribution of the results, but not by a whole lot. And it turns out if you really want to squeeze this down the most, you actually have to fully recover your fixed costs and have a, have a full pass through of your energy costs. In these other examples, we actually have a fixed energy rate that is applied against the different volumes the customer, customer might have. In this rate design three, we have not only a full recovery of our fixed charges, but we have a full pass through of the energy charge. And so when I add the overlay for that one, you can see it really, really squeezes down the range of outcomes. And I'm still hovering right around that zero or that break even, but um, it's a much tighter band than you would have with the other rate designs. And lastly, just for interest, what if you were to have just a full fixed charge? So what if you just charge your customer the full, the full amount every month and you just let it fluctuate uh, up and down? So you just, change, you, you just apply to full, just fixed charge of your customer. That's represented in this fourth uh, example. Again, I'm going to go back here, add an overlay, and I'm gonna choose that one. And that, probability distribution is this purple line right here. Uh, you can kind of see it. Let me let me squeeze over my window. And you can see with a full fixed charge uh, and no variable charge, it's actually increased and it's the worst of all, all uh, four examples in terms of the, uh, the level of standard deviation or the spread.